Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new video and a very special video because this is our first Christmas video. It is crazy. In fact, it's, it's, it's a bit early. It's a bit early, we admit it, but we're usually quite late yes. to Christmas content or just content in general. And we did have our little... Not dispute. We had our arming and our and Jimmy because Matt thought it was time for Christmas content and I wasn't so sure. Mm. I thought we were a few weeks early, but all the places have their Christmas stuff, so they kind of answered it for us. In previous years, we obviously we've done loads of videos around Christmas time, um, but actually by then these menus they are quite old, and mm. you would have already tried them. So mm. what we want to try and do this year is get in nice and early and try some Christmas menus for you guys before you've probably tried them yourselves. Yeah, it does make sense, it does make sense. But then I was thinking like, what we're gonna do in December, we're gonna have run out of things to do, uh, but- pure Christmas. There's plenty of places to try things yeah. from, and I guess it makes sense that we try it earlier on. Yes, So absolutely. So we today we are traveling home from Devon. We just spent a week there. Uh, we did some vloggy type videos, so you can go back and watch those, yeah. but we had a lovely week. We're on our way back, we've stopped at a service station, and we have popped into Costa and have picked up everything on their Christmas menu. It was a big order. Like, we just we spent £60 some, pound at Costa. Yeah, we're not going to lie. It was expensive. <laughs> like We have done this video every Christmas. Three right? years now. For three years. And never, like, the prices have gone up. It's just sign of the times. The prices yes. have gone up. And we did order half the shop. We, we spent £57 pounds at Costa. And the guy behind, when we were ordering, he was like... It was so funny, right? And? We and, ordered. And? We ordered. And mm. then... He like handed the receipt to his colleague to basically who was going to make the drinks, and he was just talking about us. Yeah. Like we were right in front of him. They're basically These talking about how like everything. weird we were that we'd ordered all the Christmas stuff, and we were just stood right there at the counter, and we were just like, "Bro, um, I can hear you." Anyway, I've got syrup and stuff. What? What even is that from? Oh. So we're starting our Christmas 2022 content with Costa. Yes. And we got a lot of stuff. Yes, a lot, we have. a lot of stuff. Drinks first? Drinks, absolutely. Drinks. Right, let me get okay. the menu up on my phone here so we know exactly what we're working with. I feel like this is the most food we've had in this car in, in a while, like yeah. different snacks and stuff to try. Let me just so, scooch forward a bit. You scooch. So there are three different types of Christmas drink at Costa this year. Uh, you've got Terry Chocolate Orange, which we've had before, new Toblerone, and also, of course, gingerbread. I took all the things off the top. So I'm just smelling which one's which. That one is the gingerbread. Okay, We cool. should say about the Toblerone though, that yes, you can get... Yes, that's right. The Toblerone, you can get either a Toblerone-inspired latte or a Toblerone-inspired hot chocolate. Yep, and we went for the, latte. for the latte because we went and got the cherry chocolate orange hot chocolate. So what have you got there? I think this is the Toblerone. And that's definitely the chocolate orange. Cool, okay, great. So I'm going to try the coffee first okay cool right? so this, yeah so i've got uh the gingerbread and cream latte here are the coffee cups we've got all the cu same cup i wonder if it's just Santa. one cup this year so this is the uh toblerone latte i am happy they went toblerone toblerone is a good love chocolate toblerone. right it feels very weird it's too early for christmas Pretty sure I've had this before, as in they've done the, the gingerbread and cream. They always and it's do tasty. gingerbread, don't they? Very nice. What's that saying? Tastes like a coffee. Can't really taste any Toblerone. -ness. No Toblerone. What? No. Oh, I don't know why I do it to myself every year. I do not like gingerbread. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. It's just a bland. Yeah, that's a bit bland, odd. That is, I'll yeah. be honest. It's there's like there's obviously some sort of like nutty spice in there, but it's not all that. No, I mean it, this is this is well up your street for the gingerbread. I just cannot get on board with gingerbread, however much it comes yeah. around. This is just a bit meh. I'm um, yeah, I'm not mad about that. I feel like they almost they forgot to put it in, but it doesn't just taste like coffee, so I don't think they actually have it's to, definitely in to there. put it in. So, that gingerbread is nice. Mm -hmm. And they do give you a little mini gingerbread man as well. Look, just munch him. Where's my minis? Are you get a mini 
chocolate orange and you get a mini Toblerone. Do you know what I read the other day? And I don't know if it's true. I've not done my research because we had no signal down in Devon. What? Have they removed bounty from celebrations? I think they're trialing it. Really? For this Christmas, yeah. Interesting. Bounty is one of the best celebrations. I don't you care do what like anyone coconut. says. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go and I'm going to eat the little Toblerone because there wasn't a lot of Toblerone. That's actually really disappointing because we really yeah. like Toblerone. It's such a shame. It's such a distinctive flavour that if it's not in there, it's so quick. You can so so quick to tell. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's in Toblerone. That's why it was so expensive. We got charged for an extra an extra sandwich. Oh. Five sandwiches and we only got four. Ah, oh, never mind. Right, I'm gonna need to take off my jumper. Mm. It's cold outside and it's hot in here. Right, oh, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. I feel like we liked this last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was tasty. So it's probably exactly the same, right? It's worth noting that we've not added any sugar or cream or anything um, to these drinks. That's nice. That's with almond milk as well, to be fair, so it might be a bit more subtle. But you can definitely tell it's chocolate orange. Oh, that's really nice. I like it, thanks. Lovely stuff. And it nice actually it. works with the almond quite nicely. Yeah. I'd be keen to try the Toblerone hot chocolate. Yeah. Because the Tobler and Latte didn't do it for me. No, definitely I'm not. Afraid. Yeah, it fell short. It 100% yeah, fell short. Right, shall we move on to food? We have lots of food. We got charged for one extra sandwich that we didn't get. Did he charge us for like two of the same? Yeah. Loads of the same. Brie. Charged for three brie bacon and cranberry paninis. So I mean. But we've got three paninis. And he charged us for four paninis and one toasty. That's what I mean. So it's one panini over. Yeah. Oh anyway. well. We've had a lot of that recently. I've got to try and remember which is which or figure out which is yeah. which. This smells very pigs and blankety. I think this is the pigs and blanket panini. So this is the pigs and blanket. The regular one. Yeah. Not vegan. This is the brie bacon and cranberry panini. So he's cut the top. Should we just try <laughs> these two for now? Oh, okay, yeah. So this has got cranberry in it and sausage and bacon. So pigs and blanket sort of thing, right? Yeah, pork sausage, bacon, cranberry sauce, and mozzarella. Maple and maple cured bacon. Yeah, same here. Okay. Nowhere near enough brie. Really? Yeah. You need way more brie in there. Way more. The cranberry's good though, but... See, I don't really like brie. I love brie. Oh yeah, there's nothing in there. It's, it's thin on the ground, brie-wise. Let's see about this one. Mm. Mm, the cranberry's nice. That one's just super meaty, obviously. I like this sausage though, it's tasty. Mm. But again, it's like, it's fairly empty, these paninis. Mm. Mm. If you're looking for a brie fix, you're not going to be happy with that. You're not going to get it. No chance. Just okay, those two. Yeah, I mean, are we going to rate these things? Go on then. So, the brie bacon and cranberry panini, I'm going to give that a five. Mm, Bang average, and it just there's no brie in it. The pigs on the blankets one is definitely nicer. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half. I'm gonna give them both five because the other one for me is just not my taste. But it's Rough definitely got, it's definitely a bit better than the um, brie one. Now this one I have high hopes for. This is the vegan version of the pig, pigs on the blanket one. Yeah. So looks very different, obviously. And this is another version of the brie and cranberry, but this time it's in there toasty. And not their cheese top toasty, just their standard one. There are a few that we weren't able to get. There is a sandwich, a turkey sandwich, a turkey trimmings one with cheese on the outside, yeah. and maybe a few others. And there's also a new, like, there's a couple of M&S bits in there now. Yeah, yeah. But so this looks like the... Um... Corn bacon. No, what nah. is that brand? 
this. Oh yeah, this, this is this bacon. is yeah. 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 So, right, intrigued by this. Mm-hmm. I like that. Over here we got the same issue. No brie? This is just a cranberry toasty. Oh. That's sad. The brie needs to be oozing out of it and it's just not. Yeah. This is nice. The vegan sausage that they've they're using is sort of like the Richmond ones, which for me is you like them, yeah. the best free meat one, meat free one. Um cranberry's nice, bacon nice. You still get all the flavours and it's more balanced than that other one for me, I'd say. Definitely my fave so far. This tastes like a jam sandwich. Mm. Try it, yeah. <laughs> it tastes like a jam sandwich. This is interesting. Mm. Oh. <laughs> this is really tasty. Right? The bacon is delicious. That is really good. I'm going to give that... 9 mm. out of 10. It can maybe use a little bit of greenery just because I do like having a bit of spinach or whatnot in there, but for the sake of it being a pig's under blanket panini, is exactly what it says on the tin, the vegan bacon. I don't think this looks great, personally. I think the bacon is definitely off, but obviously, it doesn't look great, but it tastes really good. Mm. The flavor's great. Do you see what I mean by the jam sandwich Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a jam sandwich. That's the best thing. That's nice. That is really good. The brie and cranberry sandwich, it's like a three. Yeah, I mean, I'm it's not going to rate that. Yeah, it's rubbish. Mm. But that, I'm going to give that an eight and a half piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, shall we get into some sweetness? Let's do it. We've got quite a lot, actually. And we didn't even manage to get every single thing on the menu. There's a few bits that weren't there. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Five, six, 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 six things. Okay. Madness. <laughs> um, let's start with a muffin, shall we? Yeah. Right. Let me just see what's what. Matt's just got the app up there. The cost wrap is actually pretty good. Right. What muffin have we got? The reindeer one. Reindeer muffin. Reindeer cake. A fluffy vanilla muffin. Uh, injected with a raspberry filling. Oh, sounds nice. Topped with caramel icing and finished with chocolate antlers and a red nose. Did we have it last year? I don't. Remember. I remember lots of reindeer last year, but I can't remember if it was this reindeer. So here we go. Reindeer cake. Sounds like a sort of Victoria sponge vibe in the middle. Yeah, then. I'm liking that. Just to be honest. Yes. Let's see if we can get some of that filling. Oh, straight in. The filling looks decent. Good amount of filling. Like you say, very kind of traditional vibes. Victoria sponge. Mm. That raspberry jam in there is lovely. Do you want antlers? Should we try the antlers? Go on, wishbone it. Oi. Oh, um. Pretty good. Everything except the caramel icing, which I just got a little bit at the bottom I of that. I quite like that. Chocolate. Oh. Overall, that is a good muffin. What is that icing? Yeah, uh, it's caramel. Yeah, caramel icing. Everything but that. Uh, I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Strong, I reckon. Yeah, I agree. I'm here for it. Strong start. Should we stick with the muffins? Yeah, let's do it. What we got? Toblerone muffin. Now which, we're talking. Is it filled with Toblerone? So actually what it is, what they call it, they're calling it a chocolate muffin inspired by a Toblerone. So is it just a chocolate muffin with a Toblerone on top? It is a luxury chocolate muffin packed with milk chocolate chunks Ooh. and nibbed almonds. Injected with a velvety chocolate sauce, topped with chocolate icing and a mini Toblerone chocolate. So almonds are in Toblerone, right? That's the nut you get. Yes, that's So right, yeah. it's not just their standard one, because sometimes, sometimes they definitely do that. Nah, this is a... Legit Toblerone. I wonder why they're calling it inspired by. I reckon it must be some sort of like copyright thing going what, on. Why it can't be a Toblerone? I don't reckon. Oh, okay. See the filling? Yeah, it it's in there. That bit doesn't have much filling on it though. That's all right. Yeah. I had to dig a little deeper for the filling, but it is there. 
I'm not getting many nuts, are you? No, no. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm not getting a lot of almonds. No. I'm not getting particularly nutty vibes. No. It's a good muffin. It's a good oh. chocolate muffin. There's some almond. Yeah. Shouldn't really need to go digging for no. it, but... That's, to me, tastes more like just their normal chocolate one. It's true. And for that, it's good. But it I wouldn't good. say it's all that different. It's real shame, you know, because when I saw Toblerone on Costa's menu, I was like, that is going to be banging because I love yeah. Toblerone. That's a bit disappointing. That is falling a little bit short. So that and the latte are a bit... Mm, They're a bit like, mm. oh, really? I'm going to give it a six because for me, it's a good chocolate muffin, but fair. it's just their chocolate muffin. Fair, fair, fair. I wouldn't say it's... Other than the Toblerone on top. But. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go for... What have we got? <clears throat> four left. Let's go for this one because this one's a little bit different. This is the wreath. Oh, yeah. Crispy, festive wreath. This is the thing. With these crispy like baked treats you can be so versatile if you're mm. smart from a marketing perspective or seasonal whatever you can do anything just shape it and cover it in some sort of icing and you've got a new product so well, i suppose you, i suppose that's the same with everything muffin cake absolutely yeah cookie but yeah i mean it looks good and it does look very christmasy is it chocolate crisp yeah so this is a crispy base made with dark chocolate and caramel yeah topped with white chocolate and decorated with edible decorations Okay. So it's just a Rice Krispie cake yeah. made to look like a reef. Go on. I do love Rice Krispie cakes. Mm. It's really tasty though. Mm. The white chocolate isn't too strong actually. Mm -hmm. You can see. Simple but good. Yeah. The, you get the caramel. The rice crispy itself is really sweet. Mm. And like you say, the white chocolate doesn't like, it doesn't taste just like white chocolate. It just adds to the flavor nicely. I like that. That's actually such a nice texture because sometimes you get those crispy things, you bite into it, you need cracker too. Mm. That one, it was still almost like spongy, the rice crispy. That's good. I'm going to give that a nine. Do you know what? I'll agree. I nine. think so. I think it deserves a nine for what it is. That is good. Simple done well. Yes, 100%. No need to overcomplicate. Oh dear. Oh dear, the oh. edible stuff is everywhere. Oh dear. Shall we? Wait, is this our first one of the year? First what? Of the yes, sir. season. Mm -mm. This is our first mince pie of the Christmas 2022 the season. season. I'm pretty sure this is the same as they had last year. And it's more of a short crust type of pastry thing, isn't yeah. it? All but a pastry case filled with minced meat, topped with a pastry decoration and finished with a sugar dusting. I think my memory of last year is that this is pretty good. But let's find out. I remember it being a thicker pastry, not like the normal mince pies that we get. It feels so early. It feels so early to me. This is too early for a mince pie. Mm. I love a mince pie, ma'am. Hmm. It's quite shallow filling. If you like a deep filled mince pie, you might think it's too much pastry to mince meat. I like that though. But the pastry is good. Nice. It's pure butter. Mm. The filling is really nicely spiced. It's rich. It's rich. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think that's really nice. No, I'm pretty good. sure we said this last year, but that is a good mince pie. The only thing I remember, I think I must have said this similar, is like. You know when you bite into a mince pie, it almost melts in your mouth because yeah. it's soft? This is more of like the harder pastry, so it's more of a bite to it. So yes. more like shortbread kind I of I kind of like that though. But it is nice. Mm. But if you like it sort of melt in the mouth, this is you have to get to the middle first. Yeah, that's that. true. I'm going to give it an eight. As far as the mince pie goes, winning. Right, flying through. We have two more things left. Yep. What's this slice? Raspberry trifle loaf cake. Trifle is Christmas. Trifle Ooh, loaf cake. Okay. Looks nice. Does it say what flavour the sponge it is? It does, yeah. So it's a sherry flavour sponge. Sherry? Sherry. Oh. <laughs> with raspberries topped with custard flavour frosting, white chocolate and freeze dried raspberries. So very much a trifle. Sherry, yeah. That is all the flavours of a trifle. Costa's loaf cakes are actually normally quite good. I like that they've done the custard on top because I thought that was going to be lemon or something. 
Michael, get your nose in there. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna bite straight into it. Do like. it. I'm gonna get some of the topping as well. Oh, I think I like it. I think I like it. That's odd. It is odd. It like develops in your mouth. Different flavours. All of the components are really good. Like that loaf cake texture it's is perfect. It's really good, yeah. The custard, all everything that is lovely. But for me, it's sort of like, is that vanilla? Is it lemon? Is it orange? Yeah, the sherry flavour actually throws you off initially. You're a bit like, wait, what? But it's really nice. Mm. All in all, it's a good texture. Like, it's a good piece of cake. I think actually the custard holds a lot of the flavour that I wasn't sure about. I you don't like maybe... the custard? No, 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 I do. Oh, I just you do? Thought... I thought it was the sponge that had that flavour. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, But I just yeah, had yeah. a bit of sponge on its own and that doesn't taste as strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's quirky to me. Yeah, it is, that's, that's for sure. interesting. Yeah. Probably more of an acquired taste, to be honest with you. Yeah. I actually think that that's a good good way of doing trifle different. Yeah. Because they could have just brought out a trifle. That's like true. A mini trifle That's pot. true. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. For what it is, yeah, I think yeah. it's pretty good. Yeah, I'll join you. I'll join you eight and a half. We have come to our final thing. Yes. This is a loaded chocolate and hazelnut cake. Ooh. Oh no, I left a bit behind. You, you left the loaded. Let's load that bad boy back up. Look at that, I'm having to hold that up there. Is that a brownie? I don't know what that is, let's look. So, chocolate sponge with hazelnut frosting topped with chocolate brownies, chocolate drizzle, hazelnuts and white chocolate decorations. Okay, as it says on the tin. How am I going to do this? Are you just going to bite it? bite into it. We did have a fork somewhere, but it's gone out the window. Fork it. How's that? I'm going to try the loaded brownie. Mmm. That's nice. The cake's good, man. I think that's just like their Costa brownie. Their standard one. It's really nice. Mmm. That cake is good. Mm -hmm. That you cake's can actually really taste, good. You can actually taste the hazelnut. Yeah. Mm. And the sponge is good. That's a good cake. I like that. All in all, that is a winner. It's a very rich, indulgent slice of cake though, isn't it? With the hazelnut, it, the, the mix of the hazelnut and the chocolate is perfect in that. Very good. Perfect. I'm gonna give that a nine. Yeah, actually I'm gonna give it 10. It's a 10, 10 out, out of 10. 10. Ding, 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 it ding. would have been definite ten if we were able to. If you eat, you sit down and eat it with, you know, you get a bite with a the brownie fork, yeah. and the cake rather than like a little bit here and there. But perfect. All in all, I think Costa's Christmas menu is pretty good. Um, I actually think the hot side of things was probably a bit of a letdown this time round. Yeah, the drinks as well. For me, the Toblerone side of it. That's where it's. That's the issue. Yeah. Yeah, the Toblerone side of things is not good with the drink, and. Also, the brie range is rubbish. So the Toblerone and the brie elements of the, the Christmas yeah, menu fell short for Apart us from time. that, it's pretty good. There you go. That's our first Christmas <sighs> taste on this channel of 2022. That I'm is mad. crazy. This is our third Christmas having been had a YouTube channel. I know, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Really hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll be back soon with some more videos. Um, but until then, guys, take care of yourselves and we will see you in the next one.